China just unveiled a breakthrough that could silence traditional radio forever. This new, telepathy radar lets military platforms communicate without sending a single signal, making them nearly impossible to track or disrupt. No broadcasts, no emissions, just pure, hidden communication through satellite radar echoes. In this video, we uncover how it works, why it matters, and how it could quietly change everything. Let's dive in. For over a century, traditional radios have been vital for coordination, but they've always shared a common vulnerability. They broadcast signals. And those signals can be detected. That makes any platform using them traceable, potentially exposing its position through energy emissions. This has created a long-standing challenge in high-tech communication. How do you stay connected without revealing that you're connected? In July 2025, researchers from China's Aerospace Information Research Institute under the Chinese Academy of Sciences announced a radical answer, China's telepathy radar. It's not literally mind-reading, of course, but the name captures the system's defining feature. It allows platforms to communicate without transmitting any traditional signal. Instead of using standard radio waves, it silently piggybacks on radar beams from orbiting satellites to send encoded messages. This is possible thanks to a specially engineered smart surface built from hundreds of programmable metamaterial tiles. These tiles don't radiate energy, they simply reflect radar in a highly controlled way. Each tile can be switched between two precise states, a 0 degrees phase and a 180 degrees phase. This binary system lets the surface embed information directly into radar echoes, the reflections that bounce back to satellites like China's Galfin 3, because the communication happens via reflection, not emission. There's no detectable radio signal. Nothing is being broadcast into the environment. The system blends into the natural electromagnetic background, effectively hiding its activity from conventional detection equipment. And this isn't just theoretical. According to the team's paper published in the Journal of Radars, the system can transfer data at speeds of up to 127 kilobits per second, comparable to NATO's tactical Link-16 system. But unlike Link-16, China's telepathy radar doesn't require a transmitter or antenna, only the presence of an overhead SR satellite. This breakthrough represents a complete rethinking of what it means to send a message. It's not about energy. It's about encoding. With no emission footprint, China's telepathy radar has the potential to change how platforms share critical information, quietly, securely, and without leaving a trace. At the heart of this system is a brilliant transformation of a technology already in widespread use, Synthetic Aperture Radar SAR. SAR satellites, like China's Galfin 3 and Ludi Tans 1, orbit the Earth and emit radar beams to map terrain and observe targets by analyzing the reflections returned from the surface. These reflections are normally used for imaging. But China's researchers have found a way to turn these radar returns into a secret channel for communication. The system works through a surface equipped with a dense array of programmable metamaterial tiles, engineered structures that can alter the way electromagnetic waves behave. Each tile can be flipped rapidly between two phase states, one that reflects the radar signal at zero degrees, and another at 180 degrees. By arranging these tiles in a specific pattern, researchers can encode a stream of digital binary data, effectively embedding a message into the radar reflection itself. When a satellite like Galfin 3 scans the surface, it receives this altered radar echo. Embedded in that reflection is the hidden message, entirely undetectable to outside observers because it doesn't involve any traditional form of radio transmission. No new energy is added to the environment. No suspicious frequency spike is created. It's communication by modulation, not by broadcast. And it's more than just clever, it's practical. During lab simulations, the system achieved a bit error rate of just 0.77% while operating under simulated open sea conditions known as Sea State 4, representing waves over 2 meters in height. The team also maintained radar image quality with less than 10% resolution degradation, proving the dual-use capability of the radar, imaging, and communication all at once. Even more impressive, the system uses adaptive software to boost the signal in difficult conditions. In urban environments where buildings and metal can cause signal clutter, 
The system's algorithm enhances the signal-to-noise ratio by up to 300%, ensuring the radar-embedded messages remain clear. At sea, inertial sensors and autofocus algorithms stabilize phase modulation, ensuring that even with vessel movement, data stays intact. This system effectively turns every SAR satellite pass into an opportunity for discrete communication. And because the reflection pattern is only meaningful to satellites that understand how to decode it, it offers an extra layer of security. The wider implications of this system extend far beyond a single piece of innovation. If proven in real-world environments, it could shift how advanced communication networks operate under restricted or high-risk conditions. Communication networks that are difficult to detect offer advantages in resilience, survivability, and coordination in environments where traditional signal-based technologies could be blocked or monitored. A system that transmits no signal is inherently less vulnerable to spectrum interference or signal disruption. It's not a matter of signal encryption or signal shielding there's simply no signal to detect. This brings with it substantial benefits for ground vehicles, aircraft, or naval platforms that need to maintain coordination while minimizing their signature. What's equally notable is that the system doesn't require a dedicated satellite constellation. By leveraging existing SAR satellites like Galfin 3, it significantly reduces deployment costs and infrastructure requirements. These satellites can perform their normal Earth observation missions while also picking up passive messages, making them dual-purpose and economically efficient. Technologically, this approach offers several forward-looking advantages. First, it provides a scalable model for future systems. Additional smart surfaces can be installed on more platforms, allowing network expansion without increasing exposure. Second, it allows continued data transmission even in high-clutter environments like dense urban areas or open seas, thanks to advanced filtering algorithms and adaptive modulation. From a communications infrastructure standpoint, this method represents a shift toward passive mesh networks, where nodes interact not through active transmission, but by reflecting and shaping signals from third-party sources. This could eventually extend to other satellite types, including weather or remote sensing systems, creating a global matrix of low visibility high resilience data sharing capability. However, the researchers also acknowledge that no system is perfect. Future developments may introduce new detection techniques that can identify subtle phase manipulation in radar echoes. But for now, this approach presents an asymmetrical advantage, offering communication security in a completely novel way that bypasses the limitations of traditional signal-based architecture. As global tech races focus on autonomy, stealth systems, and space-based infrastructure, China's passive radar communication technology fits squarely into a growing portfolio of innovations aimed at creating networked operations that are harder to disrupt and easier to scale. In the end, China's new telepathy radar isn't just a clever trick, it's a bold statement. A declaration that the rules of military communication are about to change. If successful, it may become impossible to tell who's talking on the battlefield because no one will be transmitting. They'll be whispering through radar, hidden behind the veil of silence. The technology is still in its early stages, but its potential is massive. And whether it's embraced, challenged, or copied, one thing is certain, the race for invisible communication has already begun. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.